Now, this site suffers from quite a few fundamental SEO errors, but there's also remnants of some old SEO strategies that just don't work anymore. So let's take a look at that. If you take a look at this article, for example, what we used to do way back when was we'd write 500 word articles to about 3% keyword density. We'd bold the keywords and we'd capitalize them and we'd do all kinds of things. And then Panda came along and destroyed us. Um, in this article, we can see they're doing that right here. This is about a 500 word piece. Uh, we're using the keywords in bold German solar panels review. We're capitalizing the start of, of each word. And uh, I'm pretty sure if we look on the page here, we'll see that it's used quite a lot and uh, not used in context. It doesn't make sense. This is just spam written for search engines, right? But this is how we used to do it. And if you went and did a Google search for German solar Solar panels review right now, you're going to see significantly better quality content on the first page. So, um, this is a, a, a fun. A fundamental error because it's a strategy that no longer works. Uh, SEO has kind of evolved and, and the, the, the bar to entry has, 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 has risen in that time. Um, so this is something that needs to be taken care of or removed because it's not helping the site as it stands. On top of that, um, as we scroll through a lot of content, we see some quite ambitious usage of coloured words and making things stand out. Um, and in my opinion, this detracts from the quality of the page. It makes you seem a little bit spammy. It's almost like I'm reading a, a special offer on, on, on Warrior Forum or a sales page or anything. It doesn't feel like I'm on a site that I'm going to trust to come and install solar panels in my house, right? This seems more of uh, an affiliate approach if that makes sense um, so I'd like to clean any uses up of the of wild colored text and things if you need to make text stand out bold and underline is just fine on occasions you can use red but very minimal um, and, 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 and really try to keep that to a minimum um, as well um, here we're seeing this this is a, a, something i see quite a lot when i review sites this is a category page but what they've done here is they've set the category page to only return one result on each page so if we click through this category page you're going to see each time it's just a single article result and now that causes quite a big problem because if we jump into Screaming Frog um, overview site structure here, you can see the crawl depth. Now, you want nearly all of your URLs to be accessible from the home page within three clicks. You don't really want to go any more than that. But you'll see here that the vast majority of the URLs on this page are 10 clicks away from the home page so if we come to the force directory tree diagram you can see that right here this big cluster of 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 no indexed category pages this is a home page and this is what what what, what we're seeing here so that's something that you absolutely must pay attention to. And in WordPress, it's actually quite an easy fix. Um, all you have to do is go into the, the reading settings and just change how many, uh, how many posts get published on an archive page. It's really easy. Um, but on top of that, there's also some other fundamental SEO errors. Now, I ran the site audit with Ahrefs. It picks up a bunch of errors and uh, picks up outputs a health score like this. So you can kind of get a, a KPI on, on, on how well you're performing or underperforming. These audits run automatically every week. So every week you get a report and if any new errors have been found, you get alerted to that immediately so you can fix them when the error exists and not when you get penalized, which is, is what most people do, right? So um, in this report here, we can see there's a number of issues, broken links, meta descriptions, empty. We can view all the issues. 
All of these are what I consider really fundamental SEO issues that you must take care of. Pages to broken links, 404s, we've got pages no indexed, that's all of the category pages and the subcategory pages that we looked at. And, you know, just general issues that all need to be fixed. So we'd like to get all of these general issues taken care of. We want to get all of this kind of old school usage of content and keywords taken care of. We want to remove all of the kind of spammy colored text we want to make sure that we're only showing um, we're showing around 10 articles per category page and of course take care of all of these fundamental SEO issues remember SEO breaks down to three parts technical SEO content and links and here we don't have the fundamental SEO taken care of